Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of building React application with PWA using Workbox. So in the previous episode, we learned about what Workbox is, what are service workers, what are different uh, implementations it has, and we decided that we are going to go with the inject manifest option. So the first thing I want to do is basically install this Workbox plugin, uh, just to let you know that if you've been following along then all of the source code is available here in this repository. Uh, if you have skipped the basic setup, you can also go to React Workshop and basically check out this branch Re React Netflix example and start from here. Uh, so both the options are available. So let's begin now. So currently we have this uh, application, a React application, which is currently running on 8080. And then I'm going to do an install npm install workbox webpack plugin hyphen day because I wanted to install it in development. Uh, I want to use it only in case of development uh, at the time of build. Okay, I think I we did install this in the previous episode, but that's fine. Okay, so once that is done, uh, what we're going to do is we'll come over here uh, and then do inject inject manifest. We'll go back to our webpack config on top. We'll put inject manifest. Okay, so you've got inject manifest. We pull that from the workbox webpack plugin. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we'll come back over here, we'll say new inject manifest. And then it's gonna take a couple of parameters. It takes the source. So where is your uh, service worker file, right? So what I'm going to do is instead of source, instead of calling it sw.js, I'm going to call it source sw.js. I mean, you can call it whatever you want, but uh, I'm just going with that. So I'm going to update that. So, so my service worker file, the source service worker file is inside of inside of uh, source and then src sw.js and the output, which means the destination where it is going to output, what will be the name. So SW destination, it's going to be SW.js. So what's, what this is going to do is basically when we run the build or the development server, it's going to take whatever we write here and it's going to output that inside of the disk folder. Okay, now there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. First, it's going to output a lot of uh, the default configuration and then whatever you write inside of the service worker file it's going to override those properties okay so let's continue so you've got inject manifest so you can add this uh, this will create a pre-cache manifest a list of webpack assets and inject it into your service worker file via import scripts right so whatever configuration, like I said, you provide here is going to inject that into the default service worker file. All right. So the next thing you want to do is basically have some of the basic files that are required for the PWA. So for that, we're going to require a package called copy webpack plugin. And I'm going to do D because I need it for development purposes only. So let this get in, let this get installed. And next thing I'll do is I'll have some of the assets. So I'll have this logo, these two logo, and then I'll have the manifest.js on. I'll also have the favicon. So I'm just going to copy those things. Okay, so I've gone ahead and copied these files. Favicon, I call logos, manifest.js on. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to paste that in here inside of the source directory okay so i've got a five five icon size i'm using a 16 by 16 then i have logo 192 by 192 there's going to be used in the mobile for icons 512512 and then manifest.json so this is just a json file that you're going to use this is going to use the configurations uh, when you are installing your application, like when you get the message like add to home screen, what will be the short name of the application, what will be the long name, what are the icons your app is going to use, 
what will be the sizes, what is the source, so my source is here. So all of that information, then what is the site URL, in my case it's the root. This, so what is the start URL, in my case it's the root. A display standalone, a theme color, whatever color you want to use for theme, you can use that. What is the background color of your application, you can use that. So these are the configurations you can define for yourself. And then we'll come back to the Webpack and um, we're going to use that plugin uh, to copy these assets into the disk folder because we don't really need to uh, go ahead and use Webpack to bundle it. Uh, we just need to copy it. So you use copy Webpack plugin that we just installed. And um, then I'm going to add some of the configurations inside of the copy plugin. So if you go on to plugins, I'm going to put that here and this is new copy plugin and it's going to take some of the patterns. It's going to ask you from where you want to take those files and where you want to output. If you keep it empty, it's going to output it in the root directory, which is inside of the dist, right? So it's going to say, um, okay, you are in source, pavicon, it's going to pick up pavicon, put that in the dist, logo, put that in the dist. So let me just show you quickly. So if I do... So if I do npm run prod, so it's running the production build. So I ran the production build and see what happened. Uh, it went ahead and um, copied from source favicon, put that here in the dist and so on and so forth for logo and for manifest art. So on. let's put that in the dist, all right? So we copied that, so that's taken care of. And webpack configuration is set up. Now what we're gonna do is we will go ahead and register our service worker. So in order for you to register a service worker, I'm going to create another file and we'll name it as register or we'll just call it as service worker registration. Okay, uh, so in the next video, we're going to do the service worker registration. Um, so far, I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.